What's up guys? Before we get going today, today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. A lot of you guys probably know about them by now. I've been working with them for quite a while. For those of you who don't know anything about Helix Sleep, Helix makes amazing mattresses and a lot of sleep goodies that are not only amazing, but they're delivered straight to your door for no additional cost. I have been using this Helix mattress for probably six months now, and my sleep has changed drastically. For me, I work a lot. Sleep is incredibly important. We actually came from a mattress that was one of the leading brands in the stores and this mattress absolutely blows the other ones out of the water. Helix Sleep offers an online quiz that you take and they end up picking out the perfect bed for you. I have the Moonlight Lux and it really has genuinely changed my sleeping patterns, how easily I go to sleep, stay asleep, and <laughs> sometimes how much I sleep in. They have a 100 night guarantee where if you don't like the mattress, you can send it back for free, but I guarantee you, you're not gonna wanna send it back. If you guys go to helixsleep.com slash Evan Shanks, I can save you guys up to $200 on your first mattress purchase plus two free pillows. That's delivered to your door. You don't gotta go to a store. You don't gotta do anything. You just open it. If anything, Use my link, go take the quiz, and just see what you come up with. There's also a lot of other goodies like pillows and stuff like that you guys can check out. Anyways, use the link I got for you in the top of the description, and happy sleeping. Enjoy the video. All right, ladies and gents, we have been super busy. Um, we're actually getting ready for the next giveaway, the next car giveaway. I think you guys are gonna be particularly psyched about it. It's, um, it's an old school car that I don't think a single one of you guys watching the video right now don't love, so really psyched about that. We've got all the merch taken care of and some of it's actually in the truck right now. So I, we've got some different stuff going on with the house. It looks amazing. I'm ready to show you guys. For one, it's not finished yet because uh, it's been like super rainy, as you can tell. It's just nasty. We've got two major updates for you guys today. House, of course, but also the shop. One of the biggest things we've been needing to do is paint the roof, the ceiling of the shop. Well. Let me just show you some before and after. So we got our house, we're getting our house painted by a different company than who painted our shop. So we've been having two sets of painters out here constantly and uh, they're not here today because it was a little rainy still, but here's some before and afters. We got our house painted. absolute mess <laughs> and uh, they have to go back and paint another coat and that kind of stuff so this is the primer on this side so this is the primer color this is the actual color it started like it was it just started like drizzling in the middle and uh, they had to stop and so they're gonna have to go back and and, and refinish a lot of this stuff but it's a little windy so I apologize but how killer is this we're still missing some trim and we have to put gutters obviously back on but we did like a black trim and we're doing black gutters, black downspouts, all that kind of stuff, and it's gonna look so cool. And a couple of things I wanna be clear on is, obviously, this is nowhere near done. <laughs> They've got so much more trim to do. I think they have a whole nother coat of trim to do. They've got another coat of paint to do. They've gotta clean off the runoff. They've gotta get all the stuff off the windows and stuff. They've got so much, and you can actually even see, I mean, they haven't even started the trim up here. Like, that's supposed to be black up there. Another thing is a lot of people are gonna mention the roof. So the roof on this house is pretty dated. This roof is literally concrete. We're just honestly waiting until we can get like an insurance claim or something and just change the roof. So we'll end up getting like shingles eventually and not have a 10 billion pound roof. But uh, for now, we're just gonna keep it how it is. It looks fine from a distance, but obviously it's just kind of dirty and, and old and really not much you can do about that. This house is gonna look beautiful when it's done. I'm ready to actually see like all the windows and stuff again. This part of the house isn't too bad, but um, I love the white, dude. The white, it's just like, it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and my neighbors just painted their house white. I was like, okay, you know what? We're gonna do it too, because it looks nice. You guys follow my Instagram and I'll give you guys a finalized picture when it's all done. Next thing I gotta do is power wash this damn driveway. So first off, Laticrete's actually coming here in about a month. The guys who did my shop floors, they're gonna actually, dude, I'm really excited. We have a really sick design for our for our, this garage right here. And um, they're gonna be coming about in about a month to do that. It's gonna be cool because we're kind of gonna, because we have a baby on the way, plus we just need the space, we're gonna be kind of converting our garage into half five three supply so like we're gonna have some like really cool shelving and really cool storage for all of our merchandise and stuff and some 
find some places where she can work, but it's gonna look pretty tight. So obviously like a lot of stuff is still masked off, but it's really cool seeing that like, we you know, we now we have a black garage doors, black trim, that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be cool. We're gonna have black trim here. That's still primer. They gotta, they gotta do a lot of stuff still. Anyways, one of the biggest things that my shop is needed because obviously the, <laughs> the yellow is so ugly. The yellow roof is so ugly. Honestly, it's an eyesore in thumbnails. It's an eyesore in regular videos and regular content. I needed to paint the ceiling and uh, this, the guys that did the ceiling, they've been super backed up and busy for about a month and a half now. And so they finally showed up and we now have a painted ceiling. So let's go ahead, do some before and afters and I'll walk in and show you guys. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's a little bit better than yellow. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. So they still, I've got it. They're going to clean up some stuff, but I'll probably end up mopping and stuff like that because <laughs> I want it to look nice. God, it looks amazing. So this is like 10 times better than any yellow you can imagine. Aside from the roof, they came and finished out all of the doors. Yeah, they actually finished out and sheet rocked like the, even these little things right here, like little stuff like this. And we sheet rocked and finished out the windows. So I got no more ugly metal and it just goes flush to that. The windows are sealed. I'm not gonna have any more draining or anything coming through that. So those are completely sealed and it's sealed all around. It just looks so nice in here now. But here's one of the big things that we've been kind of waiting on. <laughs> we still got the, we still got the cover on the, which and by the way, guys, I haven't mentioned it, but I have on my Instagram. R35 giveaway is done. The winner's been chosen. He's contacted us back. Anthony from Wisconsin. Congratulations, my friend. I'll get that shipped out to you soon. One of the big things is we needed to paint the ceiling before we did anything else. One, we wanted to match the color. Now we've already got all colorways and stuff figured out. We want to paint the entire shop. You know, we want to paint the walls. We're gonna go through and probably do like a, I think I'll have a picture of it. We're gonna do like a, a lighter gray. So it's gonna be like a really chill sort of vibe in here. Now it already feels a lot less like an insane asylum. It felt like a pillow, like a padded room that I was constantly in when I was in here. But like even this corner just looks so much more cozy. Like it just doesn't look ugly and dumb. Like it looks, it looks cool. It looks like a showroom now, boys. This is crazy. Absolutely insane. Why is my R33 so low? God, why did I do this? It's been kind of nice. This has forced me to take a couple days off and uh, like, I don't know. I'm ready to get and dive into this and see what the hell happened to the clutch. <laughs> but yeah. This car's too low, I'm gonna have to raise it. Couple things about this though. This is actually kind of a neat thing that I'm glad we did. Because it's been raining for the past couple of days, we've been able to figure out everywhere where we have leaks. So that's super good. They're gonna come back and do touch-ups when we need, but I'm gonna show you guys right up here actually. Let me get a new lens and show you guys. So a lot of you guys are just gonna be like, oh cringe. It's kind of nice that it was raining while this is happening so we can see everywhere where my roof is sort of leaking. So as you can see, we have a bunch of spots where the water was trickling down where the fresh paint was. And that's fine, because that's super easy to cover back up. I mean, it's closed cell, really easy. It's really easy to paint. Basically, everywhere where we're having like little trickles, we're gonna have my workers go back and seal up the roof. It's obviously inevitable when you have a shop of this size and you're building a, just a metal shop, period, to just not have any leaks at all. And so it's kind of nice. We now know exactly where the leaks are. And one funny thing was there's always a leak on the front door area. And I always thought that it was leaking through the, the doorstep. It's actually because it's coming in from like right around this area. Now we know, the more you know. So we're gonna be able to fix that. 
There was like one leak right around here. I mean, there's just a couple. It's mainly where the big ass pieces meet <laughs> together. You can see right there. Um, and then obviously on this side. So, so we've obviously got several things to fix. Nonetheless, boys, this shop is looking crazy amazing. Y'all are too close to my face right now. I'm gonna switch lenses. A reason why we also need to finish painting. I am now definitely to the point to where I really need workbenches. I need belt sanders. I need table saws. I need I need like big like table. I, I need big stuff. And I'm also super ready to get it kind of like cozy. Like I want this area to have like a couch, a TV, an Xbox. I might even build a sim. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to build a racing sim. I don't have space in my house, but it might be kind of badass if I have just like a sim right here where all the couches and stuff are. It would be fitting, you know. I'm really excited. I think we're going to convert this area of the shop into one large L-shaped bench. I'll use a lot of these outlets over here for charging and, and whatnot. And then over here, I'll have like a lot of grinders and stuff. And it might seem like this shop's been done for a while, but really this has been a, like, it's, I've been waiting on this to happen. Now that this is done, I can go through and paint the entire shop. We're gonna do like a light gray and it's just gonna look so, so sick. Obviously this place has served a very good purpose already and we've done some really amazing stuff in here like building Jaren's Miata from start to finish. We did that whole glow up in like less than two months. But I also want it to feel like it's just like a man cave in here. So like refrigerator, like this is like the most ultimate place to hang out ever. This is, a, this is honestly the biggest step we've taken. And God, look at how, honestly dude, I'm speechless. <laughs> I love it, dude. From not only just having the yellow painted over, you now don't see the ugly beams. Because I don't know if you guys don't. I don't know if you guys remember, but the people that this is a weird angle for you guys. The guy that did the insulation for me kind of goofed it, and he just didn't insulate the freaking beams, and so it looks super ugly and super weird. Honestly, just the roof alone, I feel like I'm in a little more professional of an area, and like I feel like. It's going to honestly help the visual aid for videos because that's a huge thing as well. I want you guys to like visually enjoy the shop as I'm physically and visually enjoying the shop as well. We wanted to invest money not only into giving us a shop, but something that's just not boring, something that's pretty, something that's cool. And so like from, from Laticrete to Righteous Restorations for like, I mean, the whole wall, like we got walls everywhere. We got a painted ceiling. It's, it's looking killer. The only thing I want to do now, aside from making everything cozy, is I really, I really do want to have some custom garage doors made. There's some garage door companies out there that have like, kind of like see-through bay, kind of like windows, but they're not, they're like fogged windows. That would just complete everything. Plus it would give a little bit better natural lighting during the day. But these doors are insulated and so, I don't know. I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of journey. Definitely one of the last videos I'm gonna be making for the Shank Shack. One of the videos I really want to do though is a cost breakdown. Um, it's not to flex what I've spent or anything, but a lot of people are interested. I mean, even other YouTubers, like they don't, people, I got into something like this and I didn't even know what it was really going to be like. And so I'm going to be transparent with you guys and, and talk to you guys about all the stuff that we've done and how much it's costed. And that's going to be something that I'm going to do pretty soon. So I love this place and I, I don't want to take credit really, but like, I mean, this, this place is kind of a culmination of a lot of heartbreak and hard work over the years. You know, it's, it, it really is amazing to have this sort of thing in my backyard because I really started out from a one car garage, like one car apartment that honestly I couldn't even afford. And I just, I don't know, like I, I give you guys daily advice every time I, every video I make and really like, guys, it's so important to, despite the obstacles, despite the bumps, despite the journey, you gotta believe in yourself. I know it sounds Disney, it sounds so Disney. But it really is so important to just see a future for yourself. Try and try and be forward thinking. One thing I'll tell you is, even though you might not see over the hill in front of you, that doesn't mean that there's not something beautiful waiting for you on the other side. It might take you a really long time to get over that hill. Sometimes it takes you five, 10, 15 years. I mean, it might take years, guys. But what I wanna tell you guys is don't give up just because something bad happens. Just because you have a bad month or even a bad year. Take that and run with it, guys. Invest in yourself, believe in yourself, and even though you don't see tangible evidence of things working out for you right now, that doesn't mean that it's over. It doesn't mean that it's done. You guys have an incredible, incredible day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. I'm ready for this echo to be gone. I need some couches up in these. Y'all <laughs> have an amazing day and make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on. Oh my R3, they look so sexy.